pipe port. I am just going in search of drinks. I forgot to get one. Hi, Manu. Wow. Hi Kelly. I found where I put my drink. How are you doing? I've been waiting to play this all week. I have to hold myself back from playing it. Continue. I'm gonna chuck Alan out on the beach again. Oh yeah, they were interviewing him, weren't they? And they dumped him in the creepy room. shot in the fucking tabloids had I already done the show well, was that a recording so what's he got Ew. just an egg diet Oh yeah, we were in this weird hallucination thing, weren't we? Oh, it's the Viking guys from the first game. The guys who had the heavy metal band. That's cool. Also, he kind of looks like John Wick with this suit on. I just noticed. <laughs> Can only do stuff with TV. Alan's freaking out. Come on, come on, 
Sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> <Woo. laughs> oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. That, that this must be an exciting time for you. But tell me, does it ever get old? He looks like he's tripping. Probably feels like it as well. Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Mr. Scratch. <laughs> well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger, guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing, uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go At least this isn't as long as it was in Quantum Break. They were like a half hour TV episode, so every time you finished a chapter. I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> he knows. And thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. All this talk of meta narratives. Kept expecting to disappear once we see your <laughs> Wait, don't do drugs, kids. Hello? Give me torch, please. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. My Viking friend's gone. They rescued me last time. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Is there anything here? No. Old gods of Asgard. Old gods of Asgard. 
That name sounded familiar. It's familiar. Was this two? Stormed as fuck. Moonshine brewing Viking guys from the first game. Mr. Door. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Oh, it's the doctor from um, Control. He does all, like, when you play Control, this guy does all, like, the informatic videos that you can find that explain how all the different things work. Yeah. And Zane is the writer from the first game as well. Yeah, they, like they did the, the live action cutscene a second ago. When you're playing as the character in control, you come across like uh, instructional videos for like people who are starting to work at the Federal Bureau of Control. And it's all live action stuff of that guy in like a lab coat in a lab showing you stuff. Hey! Well, let me out. I think I've been locked in. Uh, Anybody? Fuck. Now I have to find the code myself. Um, Great. just a guess. <laughs> I knew it. Because it's right there. There was something here. TV? A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Impossible to say. It was Alan freaking out. I wonder if we're playing like fictional Alan here. Because the whole point of the first game is that shit he was writing was coming true. Same with this one. So if he's written a book about Alan Wake, maybe we're playing as like the story one. There was something in the studio with me. Mm. I had to get out. That's the shadow things. That's the sound they make. It's gonna start chucking scenery at me. scratch and we're trapped in the writing room again I felt like a drowning man gasping for air this place felt familiar a ghost of a memory surfaced about writing here for countless days does Alan get his own investigation board I had been writing initiation you must write to escape for mapping out a story on the index cards the nightmare that just happened to me a summary of the story so far but other notes as well warnings I had written them I couldn't remember what it all meant the name scratch filled me with dread so it sure is these words. I had to act on them you must write to escape we got talk show safe haven
Oh, so he is trapped then, it looks like. Where scratch? Alice. I had to write more. <gasps> Look, part. They've got a song for you. It's called Wide Awake. Get back to writing. So we've got TV, radio, and a plot board for planning stuff out. Such a freak out on live TV again. Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? Well, I know it can be an awkward question to the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. Play the Max Payne face. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because on more than one occasion, you've voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I... I I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Uh, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. I know I had it somewhere. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Oh no, darkness. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain slick window. My own reflection haunted the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing to shed light on this sordid mystery. That's great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp? And here comes the darkness again. Time to look for an angel shaped lamp, then, maybe.
Still locked. Old guards are six six five. So that's still the same. But you Yeah, you're still there. Greg. He is. Oh, Greg the Boomer. Still obsessed with a Lance Awakening, I see. Well, let me check my magic mirror. Nope. Sorry to disappoint. Alan is still snoozing away. Maybe next time he'll finally decide to open his eyes. Oh yeah, I forgot to change his voice. But no, Alan is still asleep and freaking out. Or tripping out. Not sure which. We're currently trying to escape a TV talk show. And we're kind of stuck in a loop. So. Nah. Locked again. We get any further this time? We can. How are you doing, Greg? Hello? I hear a voice. It's RT. There you are, Tom. Oh, not so much evil that not a bit of good as well. So this janitor is in control as well. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> <laughs> Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Arti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on <laughs> the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Everybody loves Arty. What do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a man. A man, but a man with a two makes two, Tom. <laughs> and a man with a two can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox, in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Yay, RT best janitor. Helping us escape. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. 
But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. What? How do we get to a basement? Oh, it's just through here. Um. Cool. So Alan gets this as well now. So yeah, straight ahead and on the right is the basement. Artie is a homeboy. He'll send you to dangerous places, but always for a good reason. And he may or may not be some sort of super powerful interdimensional being. Light. We have a light indicator. This is, yeah, after control. So the beginning of this, the very beginning of the game, overlaps with the um, Alan Wake missions that are part of the control DLC. An old lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? It's the angel lamp. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. <laughs> yeah, if I remember right from what I, I read. Um, I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Round about this point should be... Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb uh, glowed. Yeah. It held the light now. Yeah, so where I am in Alan Wake now should be after the end of Control, from what I read. Because they basically just said, yeah, by the time you were I playing as Alan Wake... The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. You're after the end the of light control. Carved out something new from the darkness. And this is reminding me of the uh, the light switches in control, like the light switches you could pull to go to different places. RT found the thing. Where you at? Now if I... Anything cool? Okay, I like this mechanic. We got another creepy TV. What if I do this? The dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. 
The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times. Written countless stories. Forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I drive to the body to find the answer to the map and the key and the compass. But that's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean and a lake that's not a lake. Smell is the first here. End of part. And now we get a song. I'll fix Richard's voice while I remember. feels like a chore with your incessant questioning. Today is no different. I'm feeling utterly annoyed as usual. Thanks for asking, so rich. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he's proper grumpy recently. Yeah, I'm waiting for the update thing. At the moment, he is on grumpy mode, but when I get the upgrade thing, or the update thing, I'll be able to set different personalities with him, so we can just change whenever we want. So, what's up here then? Because I swear I heard Arthur's voice. I needed to find another way out. actually anything in here often no ah, the controller pulses when it's near to one of these lights as well move my light back gone 
disappeared mysteriously as usual. Right, where are we going to go next then? I change the lights in here? No. Can I change any lights in the studio? No, it doesn't like it. Well, there's quite obviously dark and stuff in here because I can see it doing the the wibbly effects at the edge. So I'm going to find other places I can use this lamp to try and get around. Where to go? I'm just going to have to go back into the basement. That's what it looks like. Map. Ah, so the door at the other end is the way out. So if I go see ahead switch that light that way. So we go through here. a regular stage thing so I need to switch it back and it becomes a normal door what if I do it here then Through here. Ah, so I do need the light. Charge through all the doors. Gimme. I need to go down here and change this one. Ah, now there's a door. And our shoebox is our storage room. Let's have a look at the... <laughs> The difference in between those saves. 
1 hour 15 minutes or 4 hours 20 minutes. Look at the bulge! Isn't it lovely? Oh, wow, yeah. You shake those hips, buddy. Hi, Dave. Uh, Twitch has been fucky all day. So notifications and stuff haven't been going through. We're out. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. That's why I primarily rely on Discord and shit for my notifications. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Alan, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station. The subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? That voice does sound familiar. I, I know you from somewhere. You just forgotten again. We're in it together. Don't worry. I got now. Wonder if it's the other writer. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? Because there was the other other writer in the first game who was trying to help. It's called Zane or something. Alex Zane, I think. Subway Pass. We got a new mechanic for puzzles as well, Dave. I can switch what world Alan Wake is in. Casey. The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. So yeah, I picked something up. I met the janitor from Control. The guy who may or may not be a super powerful interdimensional being. But yeah, I've got a lamp now that will switch between worlds in the right areas. But at the moment, Alam seems to be trapped in the darkness. Oh, fuck. Okay, don't mind me, just passing through. Shadows stirred like there was someone there. But there was no one. I wanted to keep it that way. So... I still one of these Street lights. Station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. Stay away from me from your weird shadow creeps. The lamp was dead in my hand. I needed to find a light for it. A light like this one? No. Can't steal that one. Steal the car lights. Let's try this. Can I? Maybe not. It could not be opened on this side. There's a light down there. We'll try and steal that one. I'm just hoping one of the weird shadow guys spots me. Yes, yeah, so it's giving me an indicator for those two lights. That the thing pulses as the controller pulses as well when I'm close to one. And I see a TV over here. TV. Ooh. 
So I should. There was a light at the end of the alley ahead. Be able to steal that light. Murder cult. Perfect work of art. Or would he be the next victim? Stay here. No, wait. I need a gun. No chance. Oh, no. Time to run away. Or run towards. Casey. Let's find dead Casey. Wow, he got messed up. not last long. Max Payne wouldn't have died that fast. I have torch. I have gun. This was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun right. felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. Steal the light. Pew. I had a light now. I needed to get back to the subway station entrance. With the alley and darkness now, yeah, like Max Payne would have just sort of dived way. this way and filled them all with bullets. Fuck, we're all changed. I'll put the light back. I bet he comes back. Oh, he doesn't. Anyway, gimme. Um, it's similar. Ow. Ow. Dead. No, it's something that Alan Wake wrote in to save himself. Basically, all the tools and shit he get, he seems to be getting are stuff he's written into the story to save himself. Ah, oh, I can just... get rid of him that way. Right, where are you? Oh, 
didn't. They were trying to stop me. With the gun and flashlight, I could fight back. Now we're going to make our way all the way to the other end. I could use the light to open the subway entrance now. Yeah, the the light thing that we have, it's based on like uh, light switches that are in control. And when you pull the light switches, it basically changes what world you're in. So, we set this back. Subway entrance is here. I needed to find another light to go deeper inside. I need to find a second light to use here. Hey look, Night Springs advert. Ah yeah, so there's still a light over here that I could get. And there's a light that I could use here. Map. The question marks. I wonder what the question marks are for. Where's the nearest one? Heading on the right. Night Springs. New season coming soon. Piss off. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, we're right next to it, so it's here somewhere. <gasps> Symbol. There's something hidden here. Light would reveal it. A phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meaning. Had I written this? Words of action. Words of power can be used to make Wake stronger. You can assign them in the white writer's room. Ooh. Damage dealt to enemies. 20% harder. We'll use this one. And I bet you that was like, yeah, that was the question mark thing. So we have power boosts we can get as well. Right, let's try and get the light from this. I needed to find a way around that fence. Helpful arrows. Mm. There. Can you read it from there? I also have no batteries. Booger. What 
about here. No. Wonder if we're supposed to use the light at this bit instead to get round. Let's take it and see. Zap. Change that area. Change this area. noticed what some of the graffiti says as well don't write cult of the word scratch Any batteries, please? Batteries. That's what we need. Is there anything up here? Line the echo by approaching it at a specific angle. Yeah. Casey for years. So rain tried to wash away the sins of this city. <laughs> but some sins, the evidence of the crimes committed, could never be erased. Not by the rain, or any amount of therapy from Dr. Jack Daniels. It remained bruises under my skin, like tattoos. Bruises in my soul. Scar tissue on my heart. The rain never stopped falling, and I never stopped drinking. So we got more messages from Scratch as well. Batteries or something. Help, Flaro. There. Word of lamp. A 
much like Roost and Hostile Shadows. Don't know is. We'll go for the recharge. Where's homie? Hello. Oh. Hey, Alan. Oh. <gasps> Snuck up on me. Tim. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map. It's a sheriff from Bright Falls. You still haven't found my mystery man, no. Definitely not the dude Did from uh, Quantum Break, no matter what anybody says. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Batteries. We got a map. Which has more of the light things on it. We got his. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. For the morgue, we're about wall, to give the. Yeah. Door transports me here to this dream reality. Ah. Facts. Missing time, no memory. Abducted dreams. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Orland Dor. A talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. Hmm. Oh well. We found our friend at least. A lamp. So this seems to be basically the darkness, like where all the shadows and stuff originally came from. Where the crazy mean woman was from in the first game. Shoebox. Manual save forms. I can't steal this light. So we still need to find a way down to the car. There's the cult symbol again. Maybe over here. It was like a walkway here, wasn't there? Lost. More supplies. I think we're going to need them.
wasn't there a lantern down this way? Or was it a different bit I was looking at? More supplies at least. Oh, nothing. I was hoping there'd be more supplies. And a shortcut. We're at the car. So I can steal its light. Thought that was an actual shadow for a second. Thought, fuck it, there's a huge one. Take this, it changes. Fuck me. Please, car. Fancy word thing. Word of gun. That's what we want. Not consume ammo. Not back. Flare gun. Right, we'll go for the no ammo one at this at the moment. Seems most sensible. You gonna piss off? Yeah, you are. So now, can I take this one as well? Two charges. So I can put one in here, and then we go down in here, and I'll put the second one down in this room to change this bit. Boom. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. I couldn't get in. I was missing something. This... Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. Uh. I have forgotten memory. An echo. Inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. 
A story thread I could use in my writing. With your first plot element from an echo, you can rewrite it into reality on the plot board. I had a location. I had a story thread. I would put them together, write them into my story to create a path deeper into the dark place. Things clicked into place. The story rang true. I was making progress. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. Um. Lost. Don't write. <laughs> it's not like your stories are any good. Not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills and pretentious shit. That's all you're good for. Just look at me, look at your work. Wow. Getting roasted by your own story. Don't write, don't write. Do not enter. I go in here? It no. was locked from the other side. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It's wild and dark and weird even by my standards. But yes, it began with a dream. I like that they're leaving all these little clues everywhere. Like, identity theft, you may not be the only you out there. That's got to be a reference to Scratch. And then, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. Thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. So what makes them fun. This was anything but. Darkness could possess anything and it was getting closer. Never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. Yeah, let's follow the bloody footprints. It'll obviously end well. trail continued deeper into darkness. Wake. You know, you can all piss off. Yes, we don't want to go further that way. Following a typical nightmare pattern. I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination. A lighthouse. Some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. It's all references to stuff that happened in the first game. <sighs> and crime scene. Evidence markers. <gasps> what? Shit. Got me. I don't like the sound of that. It's been a bit since one of those got me. Quick to the safe room. Supplies, we've got a shoebox. We want manual save. Hmm. 
find Alice. All of the evidence will try to. So we can go that way. What's further this way? We have a friendly arrow. Go there. 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 Words of power, word of aid. Sunflower's area of effect. Trauma pads. Painkillers. We'll go for the hand flares because they were really useful before. Where well, the hand flares saved my ass so many times in the first game. Tunnels were a maze, but the blood trail led me on. I got a light indicator for a second then. Here. This is going to be a bit I have to change, isn't it? And there's a handy light source over there. of the word. It's just far enough away. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the story that would lead me deeper. Found a new scene of the plot board to rewrite reality in the collapsed tunnel. I had a new scene to use. A new setting. Anyone who gets involved with the cult. The blood trail disappeared out of the rubble. I heard their leader is I had a feeling something writer, was waiting there. Alan Wake? Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Wasn't even a special one. Not that there's anything here anyway. Now I can get to at the moment. Head back this way and look for the lights. this bit before it changes just in case oh yeah um, where was it
there. Painkillers. Trump hat, Trump hat. Now, take the light. Another echo lingered here. A source of inspiration. It can help me, ma'am. What do you know? Word is your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow under a false identity, Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way, but I was Wake. desperate, and it felt right for the story. Now we have stealth mechanics as well. Right, so the bit I could use the light at was back this way. Doing here. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Cult of the word. Night Springs doesn't exist. It's a fictional town from the TV show I used to work on. It was any place USA, a place we used as a backdrop for whatever strange story we had that week. One of the stories I wrote for the show involved a man, the champion of light, fighting his evil double, the Herald of Darkness. Tim, I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. The sketch you have does look like the door I know. The talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows. He's like some sadistic mastermind, torturing me. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, in dreams, I'm often someone else. A different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like door. It's 
this place a dream? Feels like it. Not real, no place, every place, all places, any place. Supplies. Nothing. Right, so. Continue on. Scratch. Light will show you the way. Yay. That was cool. He opened both at the same time then. It was something I've never seen in a game before. Glob! Hey, Glob. Everybody. Hi Prove, hi Robin, hi Sariel, how you all doing? Oh great, Mama Clobberson's invading our little stream. Just what we needed, a bunch of rowdy viewers to add to the chaos. Oops. Yeah, Shadow Richard isn't impressed. Uh... How are you doing, Glob? What have you been playing? Ooh, Baldur's Gate 3. Take your fucking blood. Um, and then I'm gonna teleport away. Teleport away. Safe and secure. Oh, there. there's nowhere safe and secure there. in that part. In that fight. Oh, oh straight into lava. No! I knew it. I only knew you that because the exact same bitch. thing happened to me in that little area. How y'all doing as you play through Going Glob? What have you got up to? And welcoming everybody else. So yeah, if you don't know, I am Trouble. I play all sorts of games. I'm currently playing Alan Wake 2. The first Alan Wake was one of my favorite horror games ever so i've been waiting so long for this one and i'm uh hiking and jump scared by chat because they're mean specifically manu it's very mean oh, we just got to a save zone as well save only telling the truth bart And yeah, everything is weird at the moment because we're trapped in like a a dream world. But yeah, if you need to go and like chill and do post stream stuff, get food and everything, go for it. I know everybody is always hungry and thirsty and stuff after they're done streaming. It takes a lot out of you.
you need help, good luck. Oh yeah, there's like clues to shit written all over this place as well. This guy was getting roasted for his own writing earlier as well. Ah, we're back in a dark place. But it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. Right, here is the th fun bit. Because this is a kind of dream world, we can mess with it. I've, oh, but I have to wait for it to change before I can do this. So... If I go to his little plot board thing. Perfectly. It changed a bit. These glowing arrows usually point out towards helpful stuff. But nothing at the moment. Do I need to put the other bit on? Let's see. Um board train. The scene you're currently in. I couldn't add a new element from here. Right. So I need to go back this way a bit. A radio. Hello? Anyone there? Dead. Right, so if I go to this, do this again. I changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Uh-oh. I can hear them. You're in there, aren't you, you weird shadow things? Ah! Whoa! Rectors. Get right in, Alan. We've got to escape. Right, we're back at the save. So. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play. So if I rewrite this, this would carry me deeper into the story. We'll go for a bold murder cult straight away. The story thread felt right here. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage. Then we have soon become a coffin. Just a kid. Any more? <gasps> Supplies. Gimme. And then we have like another scene thingy to do. This is where the history of the cult gets genuinely disturbing. The cultists track down the torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, douse it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. 
There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I found. Oh, saw torch bearers. I had a new idea. A new yeah. story thread. A sick and twisted story. But it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. I'll go back this way a bit. No, I was looking for a word of power, but... They made me jump then. Keep expecting someone to be there, but there's not. So we're gonna have to answer on the plot board. Swap some areas around multiple times. It could not be opened on the side. Right, it didn't get me that time. symbol again open the door there we go more references to the first game deputy mulligan turned thornton's chatter out didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. I was sure the plot board had the pieces I needed. Wasn't even clear what the man had done. Was it run from, from them at the trailer park? Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. Sheriff's patience when the Fed was running out. Right, so, plot board. Yeah, I've already done that bit. So now we go down. Ah, uh, so. What if we change this again? to be at the scene to see and understand it and uh, change it then that works word of action twisting hard test will reduce damage from those projectiles they hurt last time we had map as well Subway tunnels are creepy. Huh? 
and we're almost out. Yeah, piss off. Yeah. Just down to the platform. You're gonna piss off. Maybe I miss something on the cardboard. Shit. This way. The words of fix health restore. We'll go max health. He keeps mentioning this plot board. Let me have a look at this bit. Use the plot board to keep building the story. Already have been. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. Of course they would first. Safe route. Now we use the other special ability and steal the light. Or not. I see. Now we take it. By her shadow peoples. You keep saying that I seem to be making decent progress without. Here I go. Wonder what 
have I just changed? Something over there. The Echoing Hall had a story to tell. End of the line. It's cool that he can open two of the lockers at the same time. It's like a small animation thing, but... So we have another scene. this scene then. I had a new idea for a scene. Torch bearers? Oop. Not a good look. But I don't think this is the one we need. Despite the cool design on the wall. Um, the eye agent? The scene changed with the story. Goes back to a clock. Right, let's try the other one. Murder cult. Changed into the murder cult's hideout. The Fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning of the qualified supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. Cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. These drawings on the wall still occasionally like catch me out. The cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. The writer, not of the last, the shadow cast, third eye project the night. This is your time when you're gone. The writer, the first word, not the last in the shadow. I open, this is your time. Ritual, friends will meet, not the writer. The light, shadow, to write, the lead will meet. So. 
I had a new beat for the story. Summoning ritual. This thread will create something terrible in the city. But it's what the storm needed. Do not like. So there's the symbol and the swirly thing. What is basically a summoning circle. How do we work this then? What do we do? Hi, Glob. I'm still getting jump scared by this game. Please. Reload. Ah, oh, the first one is one of my favourite games, Club. I was so happy when this finally got a release date. Reload, damn it. I am alright. Apart from dying a bunch. Well, I'd say dying a bunch. I've not died until today. And we're back. Where's it going to put us? Here. Right, so yeah, this is the summoning ritual. Yeah, this one has a whole thing. You know how... In the first game, he mentions, like, the manuscript pages and stuff that he writes changes the world. Well, this one, like, you can actually just do it on the fly. It's part of the puzzle-solving system. It needs the context of one, definitely. Like... I would probably say you want to play Control as well, for it all to fit together properly. There is the... the remake. They did a, a remake of the first game not too long ago. It comes with the DLC as well. It improves a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I would say you, you do want to play the first one and probably control. Otherwise, most of this is not going to make any sense at all. Steal the light. <laughs> Oh, I know people like that. Go away. And yeah, these guys are back. Shit, shit, shit! Right, where am I going to use this light source then? Give me a lot. Run, run, run. Don't 
think I can use it over here anywhere. No. That's still blocked off. Right, so I'm at the summoning ritual. What am I supposed to do? Other than pop at these assholes. There's nowhere I can use this light. Need to look at the plot board again. Oh, I've got a word of power. Word of gun. Alright, let's have a look at the plot board. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. This was something out of a horror story, but I had to keep going. Ellen Wick. So where do I go now then? I am confused. I am honestly lost now on what I'm supposed to do. To change the world again. Cycle it through the other ones, see if there's anywhere I can use the clicker. So we'll go for missing FBI agent. My writing was affecting reality. So this gives us the bloody sea scene on the floor. Look this over here, which you can't get into. Oh, I can. Don't write. Doesn't sound very happy. Right, so I change it to torch bearers. You gonna go away? So now you've got the creepy drawing and the swirl. No voices. Yeah, those voices are creepy at the best of times. Anything changed down this way? Don't like it. The entrance is still knocked off. This is still blocked off. So if I now change it to vertical. 
the scene and plot beat made sense together. Well, this is the door is open there, right? I have an idea. Let's see if my dumb idea works. It does! I'm not sure there's any point to it, but... Now what if we do... Summoning Ritual? A light embedded in the floor. Nah, it doesn't make a difference. I was hoping it would. me in a small area. Damn it, Craig. You got me. <laughs> I've been waiting for somebody to do it all stream. Changing a plot element in a scene without being there was impossible. <laughs> you got Bart as well. Thrive, Manu. I hope you're winning. Because I am stuck. Got me and Bart that time, Greg. Right, so I can. The plot changed the details of the world. Help me, step, Greggy. I'm stuck. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I am literally stuck. I have no idea what to do here.
more batteries, more supplies. Don't spread the word. <laughs> Hi, Riverly. How are you doing? <laughs> um, right, this looks like progress. Unless I'm just going to get murdered out of nowhere. Oh, you're skiving at work. It's terrible. <gasps> There's the way out. Right. Quick nosy down here. Yeah, I, uh... You missed me getting jump scared, Rivoli. Like... The third time that I've streamed this, and like the third time in a row that somebody in chat has managed to jump scare me. Go away. Spotted him at the last second. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will have clipped it. If not, I will later. And you can see me. Crap myself. Hidden graffiti signs mark secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. Typical New York. Review collected echoes of the writer's room radio. Oh. So that's what all these are. <sighs> no worries. I hope work goes quickly for you. Too late, Kelly. I saw that one coming. Ah, he got me. How many wins did you get, Kelly? Did Manu carry you again? You go away. And you. Protected you. Oh. Oh, that sounds about right. Greg just buggering off to the golf course to do his own thing. Word of power. Yeah, it sounds right to me, Greg. We all know that you are terrible at games. Like Bart, not so much, but... <laughs> right, 
let's heal up while I can. Whoa! I was healing. Almost kill me while I'm trying to heal. Bedtime mellow. Heal up fully. Make sure we're reloaded. Beep, beep, baby, mellow. Roots. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. Typical New York. And then we'll have these assholes coming through here in a second. I wonder if I can dodge some of them. It said if I turn the torch off it's easier to dodge them. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that definitely sounds like a bar thing to do. I bet yeah, he even like said before he did it, my name's Bort and I like to fort. <laughs> so mean. What the fuck? I thought this was a way out. I got scammed. Bold. <laughs> oh, we're back here. So we went in a circle. Why did we go in a circle? As it looped me back here. No. 
don't want to go that way. That way is death. So we got the cult symbol again. Does this mean I can change some of the other ones or something? The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. Giving all the animals calls. Aww. Oh. What are my goals? Reach the murder site. Complete the ritual in the right so No, I am going the right way. It's the collapsed tunnel I need to get to, right. This way, and we follow the markers for the murder scenes, which means we go Is it through here. the actual collapsed tunnel bit is now. Right, so this is where I've just come from. I suppose it's revenge for all the times we got you with dicks. That's what it is. I remember. <laughs> dicks. Right, if I go here. Bye. I had a new beat for the story. Aha! Um. Run, Alan. Run faster. Do not like. No, faster. Bitch, into the safe room. I couldn't hear the dark presence, it was gone. Fucking. Crazy monster thing. The 
tunnel was open now, I could get through. Right. Torch doesn't work. We're gonna run. The dark presence. I had seen it before. I remembered now. That was the shit from the first game that made tornadoes and all sorts. You know I ever I never actually watched Lost. But I remember when there was like a massive craze for it. I think I watched like the first Two, maybe three episodes, and never watched any more. And we're in water tank. <laughs> yeah, I think I watched like two, maybe three episodes. Somehow, the victim's heart was the key. It's the bald man. He dead again. And there's his heart. Oh, I watched all of Game of Thrones. Something had shifted. I but an overwhelming closeness to Yeah, Lost I barely watched like two, maybe three episodes. Well, this is the bit from the beginning of the game. This is Alan Wake. I'm trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Mount Cauldron Lake. Where were you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. Uh, she's gone again. I was closer to home. <laughs> Had the no worries, Glob. Somehow, something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. End of part and end of stream, I think. Because I tired. <laughs> it's your own fault, Dave. <gasps> Earthbound. Earthbound is a good game. It's years since I've played it, but it is good. We shall finish here, next to the naked man, and the weird, white, weird writing on the wall.
We shall find someone to raid, shall we? See who's about. Who is online? People playing card, people playing Baldur's Gate. I know. Because they are doing Star Wars stuff. <laughs> I've got a. Uh, you should see my BRB screen, Glob. I've got um, episodes of Night Falls from the first game, like playing at random for my BRB screen. Anyway, yeah, we'll go raid Nordy. Say hello, everybody. Be nice. He's playing Star Wars game. He's playing a uh, Jedi Survivor. Jedi Survivor, and he's doing the frog or fight. So we can all point and laugh at him when he dies. And anyway, I'll see you next time, everybody.